Hey, good morning, Geo Universe. Y'all know who I am. It is Saturday morning before Easter Sunday. We're headed around the corner here to a soccer complex in, T in Paducah for Declan. But we decided we're going to grab a cash real quick at a gas station. Should be a traditional lamp skirt. Look at that little. Easy peasy. That's what I'm talking about. I'll see you in the next one. See how many we get today. Peace out. Hey guys, Captain here. Geo kids are back there. Declan just finished his first game of the day. They lost two to one. So that is what it is. We got another game in about four hours. But with that, we're gonna kill some time. We're gonna take a walk out this road here, down a road that way, up a road that way to find one geocache. Dad, look at that. And then after we find that geocache, Miss Gemma here wants to take a picture with the dip and dot factory sign. So we're gonna do that as well. And then walk back around and hang out till the next game. So basically we're killing time. That's what we do best. So soccer fields are way back there. Pretty cool. Got a couple soccer fields over here. We checked it out yesterday. So see you soon. Hey guys, so we are about 190 feet from the cache. I know it's gonna be along one of the fence lines. So over here somewhere. Over here is a Dippin' Dot ice cream factory, which my youngest daughter Gemma would like to go get her picture with the factory sign. So we're gonna do that in a minute. After we find the cash. So let's see. This way, 120 feet, maybe along the back fence, I think is what I remember reading something about the back fence. So we'll walk back here, see if we can find it. 80 feet. 70 feet 60 feet we're getting close people who wants to run over there and see if they can find it, Not me. it gonna be? So, over here maybe 40 feet this way near that fence somewhere oh, near the fence around the fence maybe 11 feet that's a bar mm -hmm. I think we're probably electric well, like hmm here okay I'll touch it Let's see here. So let's go back out here and see. 40 feet. Let's see if we can find ground zero. 30 feet. We're looking for ground zero. 20, 18, 13, 9, 6, 5. Okay, so we're about ground zero here. So, let's see. There was a hint. Open this. I can't. I don't want to open Hint is look to the fence in the back of the parking lot to find your treasure. Fences. So that's what I thought the hint was something about a fence. What's here? What's this? I don't know. Box. It's supposedly electric, so don't touch it. It's got a little no touch sign. There's a wasp in there. Oh. <laughs> well, she apparently don't like wasps. Dad, no, is this so, no, I hate them. No. Scary and they'll sting you. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys away while we're looking. Hey guys, so I'm over here looking. I couldn't find it. Declan lifts this box up and finds it and didn't even realize it was it. He closed the lid on it. That is the Geocatch logo. Oh, it says Geocache. Yeah, that is the Geocache oh, logo. It was some sort of electric box. <laughs> no, so we it. found it. So let's open it up and... Smart hiding place. Smart ammo box though. Nice ammo box. Some people love Okay, how do you... They even have it wired to the ground. Oh, there it is. It pops open. <laughs> oh, oh, wet. A little wet. Little Look. There's a rock. Mm. There's a pen in here. It's, hey, it's a, it's a whale. Oh, that's cool. Energy go kit passport. When you hear an earthquake. Nothing much, but there we go. Hey guys, so you just saw us find that cache over here. We come over here to get our picture with the dip and dot ice cream factory sign. But actually, it's actually the corporate headquarters, the main headquarters for dip and dots. So that, that's the factory and the headquarters. There's the sign. So this video is now sponsored by nobody because they didn't ask me to do it. So there it is. Dippin' Dots logo though. Hope you all enjoy. See you around.
Good morning, Geo Universe. It's Sunday morning. Just checked out of our hotel. We're gonna work our way home, but down the road from the hotel was a standard geocache light skirt. Pretty short. There it is. Boink. There's our first one for Sunday. See you around. Hey guys, Captain here. We're on number two for Sunday. There's a little man deck. There is Gemma back there taking a picture with uh, half a prime who lost an arm. Let's show the fans what happened here. Lost an arm due to a Decepticon attack while we were geocaching. So with that being said, we will work on fixing his arm when we are not on a geo trip. And hopefully we don't run across no more Decepticons on this trip. So with that being said, we're going to go this way about 130 feet. We're looking for a regular size wedge between two trees. So that, that actually it's two state trees, but I don't know what the state tree is. So in Kentucky, I don't know. Do we have Kentucky is it pro? The state tree like a spruce tree? It might be, but this is Kentucky, not Tennessee. So I don't know. 77 feet. So let's go down here a little bit. Huh. Well, we got 40 feet right here. Okay, 28 feet right here. So he's it's going to be somewhere in this set of trees. This kind of looks like it could be where it is. That right here. Okay, well, that one's bringing me this way. This is confusing. It's like one tree but splits into two. Yeah, but the cords put us over there, dude. Yeah, I don't think it's that one. I think it's coordinates. Ah, uh, what about this down here? Whoa! Not seeing nothing there. 80 feet back that way. So let's go back this way. We can come back and look at the creek in a minute. Let's go find this cache. Let's find this cache. Could it be across the creek on the other side? Because there is a tree that's forked, which is where I think it is. Stay over there, guys. Because I don't want to have to fight y'all to get back up. I see it. Hey, if he wants to come, he can if he wants to see it. Okay, Declan's gonna come over and see the cash. I would take your hands out of your pockets. There we go. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Next one. Hey guys, Captain here. We are at the edge of a cemetery. Uh, we do know this one's magnetic. So we have an idea of where we're looking at least. So there's two gates. It's probably going to be a micromagnetic. Basically because I don't see a key fitting on there. So it's probably, if I had to pick, not going to be on the top rail. It's probably going to be on the bottom rail somewhere. Not there. <laughs> but, uh, not on that side. So we go over to here. Let's see. Not there, not there. Quick scan up through here. Nothing there. And if it's not here, we're gonna turn y'all off because now I gotta do some extra work. Yep, time to turn you off. See you around. Hey guys, still at the cemetery. Sounds like we might have a storm. Remember I roll in, uh, did find it. 
a little bit different the size than what I was looking for, but we got it, so that's good. Again, thank you guys for everything you do for this channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. And keep cashing and more videos to come. Happy Easter. Hey guys, so we're on location. We're about 17 feet, 5 feet, 14 feet. So we're jumping around right in this area. So we got the fire hydrant. We got this thing here. We got power poles and we got sewer. So any one of them is a good option uh, for our geocache. So my first thought maybe would be this thing here down along the edge. So it'd be concealed. Not seeing anything there. So come over here to the pole, look for a micro maybe. Uh, let's see then. There it is. So I spun it around and I saw the, look at that, awesome sauce. So it took me about one, two, third location. Got it. No, hey guys, Captain here with uh, Gemma. So we're here in Mayfield, Kentucky. We have come up to one that we've been looking, I've looked for three times. I've had Button Baby with me. I've done it by myself. This is like the third, fourth time. I'm assuming it was not here before because we found it almost immediately as we pulled in. There it is. <laughs> I got it. So there it is. She's going to open it up. Maybe. She's going to try to open it up. Awesome sauce. So that's another one out of Mayfield for us. So see you around. Keep cashing. Keep subscribing.